good evening, Houston. Uh, I think this is a little view of our uh, Omis Tuburn activity. Uh, Jose is still in his helmet and uh, Pat out of his. And uh, we're all just cleaning up our orbit so that uh, we can be nice and stable. Uh, I'm uh, lucky enough to be out of my helmet and uh, CJ is still in his. Okay, and uh, this is Nicole. Here we are down on the mid deck. I'm still sitting in my seat, just getting used to my new space legs, I guess. And uh, we're back up in the flight deck, so I'll hand it over. All right, this is getting ready for the uh, Ohms 2 burn. You can see there's a uh, parachute cover there. You can see that it accelerates toward the uh, rear, toward Jose, and he's batting it up toward the uh, front. And uh, that was kind of fun there. Kevin and CJ, uh, after they had completed the burn. A little bit of the commander. He was the last one out of the seat. Hey, there's a good shot of our PLT. This is uh, Jose Hernandez uh, adjusting to the uh, to the zero G, as uh, Kevin can show you there with the uh, pencil, uh, that we are really in space in a zero G environment. There you can see the uh, moon out the uh, forward window. Uh, focus isn't quite sharp. And then here is the next thing is uh, Pat and Krista were getting ready to open the uh, payload bay doors. There's Jose, I mean, uh, sorry, that's Kevin going down to the mid-deck to get his uh, suit off. And you can see Krister uh, set up that camera. If you watch very closely, uh, pretty soon you'll see the door move, actually. There it goes. You can see him moving out there out the back window. Okay. That's pretty good. Good teamwork by Pat and Krister. They did the doors and the KU band antenna. And all stars. Commander CJ taking these great shots here. Very useful, by the way, to have a headlamp. I boarded it almost every crew member by now. Jose, our MS2, playing with uh, power supply for laptops. He, that was his main job after we got into orbit, and it's all working now. He's done a great job of getting the laptops going. We always look for things coming out of the payload bay, especially when we first get to orbit. Just happened to notice one of the small buttons there that is used to help tack down the MLI in the payload bay. We're able to get a shot of it as it floated away. Down on the mid-deck, uh, you can see things are pretty busy. There's a lot of bags and a lot of gear that needs to be unstowed and restowed. Uh, you can see here, Christian deep into the ditch, uh, getting helping me out with uh, some of the five uh, very large five MLE bags. Uh, these are where we store a lot of our equipment for station as well as for shuttle. And here's Nicole. You can see her in her uh, in her all her glory, uh, hair all over the place. A lot of fun. Um, again, it's a, it's a pretty busy place, the mid deck, as we try and reconfigure this rocket into uh, an on orbit work platform. I had just uh, gotten out of my uh, suit and long underwear and had gone in there to pick up uh, my clothes, get my socks on, and I'll be headed up to uh, do some arm work, beginning to uh, take the arm out of cradle and check it out for use tomorrow when we do the inspection. And this is what the view looks like as we're heading from the mid deck up to the flight deck. You can see us going through the uh, the flight deck uh, access port. Uh, you see flight deck still uh, busy with activity. Again, trying to get ourselves into a configuration for on orbit operations. And there's our commander settling in after uh, changing into uh, our regular flows, and uh, he's going to go ahead and. Uh, and, and, and basically uh, take over while our commander goes and changes uh, into working clothes as well. 
is what it looked like if you came down on our mid-deck. You can see that uh, Danny and Nicole and Krista have been doing a great job of getting things uh, squared away. Here's Krista and Danny putting away some of the uh, seats, the mid-deck seats. There's all the uh, personal hygiene kits uh, laid out, and uh, everything's really coming along nicely on the uh, mid-deck. There I am coming down for the uh, get my uh, suit off. Uh, she came down here and uh, had some drink bags that we had left over from Ascent. So uh, Nicole and Danny were able to help me get out of my uh, suits. There's Jose doing a great job of setting up the uh, PGSCs. Uh, he got the uh, stuff out of what we call a lightweight mar. That's one of the uh, computers. Here's uh, Nicole doing the FTHC checkout. She also helped out with the uh, smoke detection test, and she did a lot of uh, payload stuff on the mid-deck and got the CSACP going. So uh, we really appreciated having her uh, jump in there and help out today. There's Danny getting the uh, Bogan Arms uh, set up for the uh, photo TV uh, that we're having the pleasure of viewing this video right now on. Since we have our inspections on flight day two, we always try and get the arm uh, out of cradle and uh, checked out for the next day. So I ran through those procedures. And the last thing is uh, Kevin was helping out, making sure we had everything done in the uh, flight plan, and it looked uh, really good. And here's Jose making uh, a couple of calls on the air to ground. So it was a great day to get all this set up. That's the end of the video, Houston, and we appreciate everybody following along.